Hi, my name is Carol and welcome to Hummingbird Spot. I'm making this series of videos to tell you how to attract hummingbirds to your property because the number one question I get asked is how on earth did you do this? I have hundreds of hummingbirds visiting me here in Studio City and I consider myself to be pretty much of an expert on how to get them here. So over the next several weeks, we're gonna have a Wednesday video where I'm gonna give you a tip on how to get more hummingbirds to your property. Today, we're talking about food, the nectar you're supplying in your hummingbird feeders. Now, hummingbirds have amazing brains. They are really good with directions, and they remember where every good food source is. A hummingbird that migrates from Mexico all the way up the West Coast or up the East Coast will remember every single food source along the way, year after year. So if you provide really good nectar for the hummingbird, that hummingbird is going to visit you again and again and again. Now it's important to keep your food fresh and your feeders clean. If a hummingbird is not happy with the food you're providing, he's never going to come back. He's not going to breed in your area and he's not going to bring his offspring or her offspring. You can find the links to my in-depth videos about cleaning your feeders and what to put inside of them at the end of this video. Now what I have on my balcony in Studio City didn't happen overnight. I've been feeding birds out there for nine years, but it's never too late to start training the birds in your area where the good food is, right at your house. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell, because next week you'll get another tip from Carol at Hummingbird Spot.